Babe says, I love watching concert videos. And at first when I read this, I thought to myself, I don't really like watching concert videos. But then I thought to myself, yeah, you do. On YouTube, you watch concert videos all the time. And this tape says it's super relaxing. I love to watch different concert videos from different rappers or different artists that I might not be able to go see in real life. I've done this a ton of times and I'm sure you have as well. And if you have that right there, makes a case for AMC offering tons of different concert videos at their venues, which means the entire thesis is correct. Makes you feel like you're there. And I watched them on my phone, LOL. Imagine a big screen. They could even play old concerts from years ago. I'd go see them in the theater. New live acts, of course, money will go. I'd completely agree with this ape and think this is going to be one of the biggest things moving forward when it comes to AMC theaters. We have a new tweet from Charles V. Payne and, of course, Unusual Whales. Unusual Whales says in August, failures to deliver an AMC totaled more than $264 million, roughly 70% of the stock's monthly trading volume per the street. And Charles Payne, once again sticking up for the apes, said, A dang shame. Gary Gensler, what the heck is going on? Why are you letting this happen? An ape down below said this, the entire SEC is utterly useless. Comment down below what you think of this. And honestly, shout out for Charles V. Payne for still having our backs. This is absolutely hilarious. It's a CNBC Fast Money clip where it says, even Taylor Swift cannot save theaters. And this ape said, this is hilarious. Since when has the media ever told you something that's the truth? This only shows me that they don't want you buying the company that is breaking records and exploding in growth during a recession. They don't want you rich. That's their job to tell lies. Now, it is so crazy how they are deliberately trying to attack AMC from every angle on the news. You very rarely see them do that with any stock, but why are they trying so hard to make all the apes sell AMC and, of course, to make everyone pretty much hate the stock of the company? Comment down below. The key is HODL. It's very simple. No matter how bad the fuck gets, HODL. No matter what they say about Adam Aaron, HODL. No matter what they say about the movie theaters, HODL. You've already done your research, right? Comment down below if you've already done all the DD you need to do. And comment down below if you're still holding through all this craziness. Now, this is actually shocking. This type of data makes me extremely frustrated that it's not being looked into more. So Tesla fails to deliver summary. The average number of FTDs per day for July 2023 is 29,000, let's just say, for Tesla. For Google, 100,000. For Apple, 20,000. For CNK, 30,000. And for AMC, 11 plus million. This ape has a reminder. They said take profit reminder. Reminder to all apes. Make sure your shares don't have take profit or stop loss if you're so inclined for that matter, especially if you have bought more shares recently. A lot of brokers have profit set automatically on new shares. No chance I'm selling at any of these prices we've seen to date. Not financial advice, of course. So just a nice little periodic reminder to all the apes to log into your brokerages and set things up exactly how you want them to be. There are certain brokers that do set up different sort of auto things. So make sure to log in whenever you have some time and make sure everything's set up in the way that you want it. Make sure to check out all these other videos to catch up on all the latest AMC Stock DD and information you need.